and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are cooking a soup for Mazon Australia. Mazon Australia are a charity that have a very simple philosophy. It's a Jewish response to hunger in our community. Usually they get together and make soups and distribute them to those in need. But at the moment, during these COVID times, they can't do that. So instead they're providing boxes with the raw ingredients and these people have the capability of making their own food. They receive it like this. So I'm gonna show you how to make the soup from the raw ingredients. Let's go. The first thing we're going to do is chop up our onions, crush the garlic, one should be enough, and we've got two cups of hot water. We're going to add our stock cube. Now I've added that now, so by the time we need it, it's already absorbed and all mushed up all nice and ready. So the next thing we're going to do is come over to our pot, come on. Turn on the flame, just on a medium flame is fine. Add some oil, whichever oil you like. If you've got grapeseed, use grapeseed. If you've got olive oil, use olive oil. If you've got vegetable oil, use that. We are going to add the onions. We're going to crush the garlic in there. Now you're just going to stir this up and you just want the onions and garlic to just sweat down. We yeah, add the stock that's been in there, two cups of stock. Now, we're just going to leave that to come to the boil and that will give us time to chop all of our... While the water comes to the boil, we have a chance to cut up our vegetables. Now you want the vegetables cut basically the same size. It doesn't matter what it is, but if they're all the same size, it helps them cook at the same time. You wanna do your hard vegetables first and we'll add them first. And then afterwards we'll add the softer vegetables, obviously, because they take less time to cook. Let's start. I've chopped all the potato and sweet potato. You can see they're roughly the same uh, size. And now we're adding them to the soup. There isn't much water above the vegetables. Don't worry about it, because once we add the zucchini, there's a lot of water content in the zucchini, and that will add the water to the soup. So you don't want to add too much water straight away. If you need more water, you can always add it later. While the hard vegetables are cooking in there, they'll probably leave it for around 10 minutes, we are going to start chopping the zucchini. Now it's very important that we wash the zucchini first because we're leaving the green skin on. About 10 minutes has passed and we're going to add the zucchini. Now, as you can see, there's a lot there and it looks like there isn't much liquid, but there will be, do not fear. This is like the bonus pack. Um, I have noticed that I've got a low, half a loaf of old bread and it'd be great to have some homemade croutons to put in the soup. So while the soup's cooking, I thought I'd show you how to do that. So we've got this bread, just an old loaf of bread. I'm just cutting it into pieces. You can tell it's quite old. And all we do is cut it into squares. Put all the squares into a bowl, which we'll continue to do. We've cut all the bread in the bowl. You can cut as much or as little as you want. Any type of bread will do. It's this easy. I just put on some olive oil, or again, whatever oil you want. A little bit of salt. Zhuzh it around. Pour that into the bowl, the tray, baking lined tray. Put it under the grill. And I will show you in 10 minutes how you have the perfect accompaniment for your soup. It's been four minutes. Have a look how much water there already is in here. I may just add a little bit more, just 
to really just make sure it's all covered. There we go, the croutons are ready. They look amazing. They're really crunchy and yummy. The only problem is waiting for the soup and not eating them all now. It's been about 15 minutes and the soup is ready. All the vegetables are soft. You can have it two ways. You can even have it more, but you can have it chunky like this and turn it off, it's ready to go. But the way we like to have it at home is using our trusty bar mix um, and zhuzhing it and have, having it pureed with a bit of sour cream and some coriander. I'll show you both ways, you can decide. 20 minutes later and here we have a big pot of gorgeous, delicious soup, which you can serve two ways. Please donate to this amazing cause, Mazon, for such simple ingredients, people can create a whole dinner. It's really wonderful. I've had fun doing this. Thanks for joining.